some tools. <clears throat> I'm going to replace the exhaust mounts. I got these Grim Speed ones, so hopefully they'll work. Uh, I didn't really check fitment or anything because all the ones for the Evo 10 are like five piece and like 60 bucks or something like that. So I picked these up for, I think it was 20-ish dollars plus shipping. So, um, but yeah, so we're gonna take the old mounts off, put some uh, dish soap on these to try to get them to slip on a little easier. And we got a variety of things that may or may not help uh, getting the old ones off and the new ones on. So let's have at it. So I don't know if you can see this, hopefully it's focused, but this thing is all dry rotted. This is probably why it was swinging around so much when I'd hit bumps and going around corners. But here is the old one. You can kind of see how flexible that is. Here's the new one. It, I mean, it feels like a solid mount, really. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of Dawn on the holes to try to get that to slip, slip on a little easier. Alright, there is a better look at the exhaust mount. I'd say the thing's about ready to break either way, so I don't know if these new ones are gonna work as well as I want them to, so I might have to figure out a way. Because I think I'm still gonna get a lot of movement side to side like this, because I already got the one side on, and I mean, it's still like, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the exhaust hitting the frame so so we will see but I think we'll have to come up with something a little different as well all right so here's what I did I got these on and uh, I've got this top one kind of on top of that little bump or nipple or whatever you want to call it because the holes are just a little bit too big so I'm gonna let the soap and all that dry and see if it doesn't uh, stay. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work long term, but maybe for now, um, I might be looking at a new exhaust. Um, and then I got, let's see, these little bolts right here. Oh, hey, 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 there we go. Uh, right here, I've got those uh, with some penetrating oil because I'm gonna pull them off uh, you can see where uh, the old bumper cover uh, was just kind of like ripped off and they didn't hook up the new one so um, anywho 
I'm going to see if this doesn't work for at least a little bit, maybe get me through the winter, hopefully. Um, because this exhaust, I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can pan around here. Uh, there we go. So it's just like a little homemade uh, exhaust, straight pipe all the way back. Um, see, maybe you can see, see it a little bit better. Um, but it's just straight pipe back from the turbo and uh, kind of I don't know it gets the job done but uh, it, it had a lot of movement because uh, you guys saw those old uh, rubber mounts and they were all getting cracked and corroded um, so I got these off of uh, I think Riley Sport Direct and uh, just kind of like a gen general like use on whatever kind of thing um, and these uh, the bar that is coming through the mount on the bottom side is a lot smaller than the one on the top because the homemade exhaust so um, I might have to find a workaround or I might just finally get like a proper uh, proper exhaust so we will see but hopefully this will work for now if not uh, oh well